Hello, a um, couple of days ago, I did a video of uh, the um, Hunchback of the Notre Dame, and I was talking about uh, one of the most sad uh, novel I, I ever read. And but at the same time, I, I mentioned about the test of Dabberville, and uh, that's also very sad, and I'd like to talk about it a little bit. Uh, when I uh, uh, encountered this particular uh, movie uh, in the beginning, when the movie came out, uh, Roman Polanski, you know, he is notorious. Roman Polanski made this beautiful film of Tess, and uh, Natasha Kinski played Tess, and uh, she, she, she was very beautiful and uh, uh, wonderful. That, uh, and in that movie, it was uh, um, you know, depicted the, the very, very sad story beautifully, very beautifully. Um, so I have uh, in that mind, and uh, oh, I saw the movie, and I don't have to read the book or anything. But uh, a couple of years ago, I read the book, and uh, it was beautifully, beautifully sad. <laughs> I was um, amazed how this the girl named Tess was such a good girl, but uh, her fate goes um, beyond your imagination. It's, uh, it's um, you know, I don't know if the spoilers or not, but uh, uh, he, uh, she, um, she, I think she, in, the, in this village, she struggled to live and she, uh, but she, she's a good girl, she works very hard and uh, she meets this uh, guy named Angel. Angel, uh, uh, both in the movie and in this uh, particular book, I got the impression that it's, uh, it's very pure, very pure-minded, and uh, he cannot accept anything wrongdoing. You know, he is a very, very good person and uh, pursue the, uh, the good life. And that's how the test loved him because he's such a good man. And um, but also the angel was a little bit, um, you know, in my mind a little bit disappointing because uh, it, it's like a, too pure, you know, uh, in my taste. <laughs> um, so but anyway, uh, test ended up with the. Um, Ended up with uh, fate. Uh, you know, I'm not sure I, 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 I could disclose this, but uh, you know, she died at the end, right? So, um, but uh, uh, it, it's about uh, this woman's um, journey uh, in the very, very hard ship that she cannot control. Uh, it's a very, very hard life. Uh, you know, even though she wants to do a good thing uh, and uh, lead a good life and uh, eventually get the happy life, um, uh, but she she's unable to, and that's the story of this. And uh, I kind of recommend because uh, the amazing that uh, Thomas Hardy wrote this story of this particular uh, setting and um, you know it's very, very strong I think uh, it has a novel uh, very very strong uh, I, uh, I read the, uh, uh, Far From the Madding Crowd I saw the movie too Far From the Madding Crowd um, the movie was uh, very very impressive very very good uh, and uh, um, the Mayor of Custer Bridge. Uh, I, I like that too. I read that too. And, uh, but Test is somewhat, uh, you know, a little bit beyond uh, the, you know, the topsy turvy of this uh, female protagonist. Uh, you know, it's very, very sad. Uh, so, um, but I eventually recommend that uh, you have to read this. Uh, 
just because how the uh, literature, English literature in this case, uh, does to you. And uh, I think it's important to read this kind of a classic um, and to get this uh, craft of the writing and uh, uh, you know the enjoyment of reading that. I think uh, mostly because if you know just because it's sad, you 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 get the sadness, but as well as the greatness of the story. And so um, I strongly recommend. So this is my five cents of today. Bye.